Hello and welcome back to the cafe. My name is Chu Yang and today I'll be showing you how we do our signature coffee. The kopi tam tam is basically using traditional coffee in Malaysia, what we affectionately know as a kopi o. It's the caffeine kick that most of us need in the morning. We, we found a way to use it in the espresso machine. In our menu, we call it kopi tam tam. And tam tam in Penang Hokkien means mix, to mix. Go to a hawker center, you order a tam tam or, or a, a tam peng. Uh, huh? We call it very local thing. It's a tea from Te Tare with the kopi from kopi o. And here we have a slight variation on that. It's called kopi cham cham. There's no way I can say kopi cham cham without bringing out the, the super Malaysian, super super local accent. And oh, just just funny. I like it. This is all possible through the Slayer Espresso machine. So today I'll be sharing my recipe on Kopi O, local Malaysian traditional Kopi O, and using it to make espresso. First, we put a bit of espresso, and then we tamp that bit of espresso. Then we add our top layer of traditional kopi o. Now this is where the magic happens. Then we distribute the kopi o with the espresso grinds and then we tamp it again. Then we put it in the machine, uh, pre-infuse it, and then do a full-on extraction. And then that will give us our kopi cham cham espresso shot. Malaysia, Singapore is basically the only two places that you can get kopi o. So technically by that logic, we are one of the first in the world through, through sheer scarcity of kopi o that we made kopi o espresso possible. Whenever I make a kopi cham cham recipe, it just makes me so happy because it is physically blending together old uh, traditional coffee, traditional Malaysian coffee with modern espresso and modern equipment. It's just so yin and yang, you know? It's just so balanced, it's just so nice. And it produces something that's very special. It produces something that the world has not really seen before in an environment like this. I'm still using the same roaster as where my grandfather once made kopi o. And that's something I'm, I'm super, super proud of. Over the course of a few weeks, um, running this cafe it is something symbolic. <laughs> it is something symbolic because it blends old and new. That's one aspect. And the blending together is basically what we are doing with Drop the Top. We are blending together a car showroom and a car dealership with a cafe. And it's something that I haven't seen executed well. So this is my challenge, to really bring harmoniously the car dealership with the cafe. It's a challenge also because 
of the baby boomer and millennial relationship. Now we've always known that uh, millennials and baby boomers have their conflicts. And this blending together of old and new, traditional and modern is symbolic of that. I made it work in the case of coffee and I'm in the process of making it work in the case of my dad. I feel like we've done a pretty good job of balancing his experience, his expertise with my fresh new ideas and fresh new take as well as skill set. Why am I bringing this up? Why? Because uh, I'm seeing more and more of my friends working for their families or having a family dynamic that affects your career. And this is something I'm, I'm passionate about talking about. I'm passionate about talking. It's something that's uh, just a difficult topic to bring up. It's a difficult conversation to have. It makes me super happy when I see two different generations come together to do something different. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's something of a very happy feeling. To be able to start that difficult conversation, to be able to, to communicate, especially in an Asian environment, a predominantly Asian family dynamic, it's a very difficult thing to do. Share with me down in the comments below if you're in a family dynamic that you basically work for family or in family, your, your career is closely tied to your family, tied to your father, your mother, or what's your situation? Share the context. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for coming to the cafe. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like if you like it. Dislike if you hate my face. Remember to subscribe even if you hate my face. And I will see you next time.